Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jaser. Um, in this video, I'm going to take a look at A39, similar string groups. Mm, the expression is very long. Two strings, X and Y, are similar if we can swap two letters in different positions of X so that it equals to Y. Also, two strings are similar if they are equal. For example, TARS and RATS are similar because we could swap at position 0 and 2. And rats and arts are similar, but a star is not. Yeah, these two could be uh, swapped with one pass, right? One, one swap. Rats and the arts, so RA is enough to transform rats to arts. Similar, but the star, star is not similar to stars or arts. Okay. Together, these form two connected groups by, sim by similarity. Uh-huh. Uh, this group of uh, words and a star. Notice that tars and arts are in the same group even though they are not similar because tars and rats are similar and rats and arts are similar but tars and arts are not may, might not be similar. Okay, each group is such a word that is a group and only if it is similar to at least one another one the other word in that group. We're given the list A of strings. Every string is A, is an anagram of every other string in A. How many groups are there? Remember that anagram means that the words are all consisting of the same uh, letters. How many groups are there? As we uh, as we explain here, there are two groups. One is Tars, Rats, Arts, and the other one is Star. About the input, uh, the maximum A have a two thousand words. For each word, we're maximum one thousand net uh, letters, right? And uh, the total letters will be no bigger, no more than uh, 20,000. And all words A consist of lowercase only. Mm -hmm. Lowercase. All words in A have the same name uh -huh. and are anagrams of each other. Yeah, the judging time limit has been increased for this question. Well, um, this is kind of similar to what we did before, like uh, the email account merging thing and uh, if you search on my channel for account merging account merging account merge yeah uh, there's an uh, it's actually it's like uh, two emails belong to the same person and we need to merge them together and then another one is what I forgot was like some final checking this dest destination like some graph problem so here as we just analyze to analyze the problem a uh, word A might be uh, similar to its two-way relation, right? All right. Word one, word two, right? They might be sim similar, and uh, word two and uh, word three might be similar. So these cause these three words to be the same group. Wow, well, right? Well, this is actually actually like a graph. We we say that for word one, if so suppose there's a dot here. If I can draw, if a one and two, three, if you put all the words on the map as a node and put it on the on a, on a canvas, uh, if two of the words are similar, we draw a line, and then two, three, I draw a line. The other one, there may be uh, no one similar to itself, so it's a plain dot. And in my, there's another uh, uh, edges, lines, blah, 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 blah. So after we're checking all the possibilities in this in this graph, we actually just need to pick uh, the subtrees, right? How many isolated subtrees, subtree not tree, subgraph in this graph, right? If we can connect it connected the nodes by somehow uh, about uh, if we can somehow connect it the, the 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 nodes, then it will be in the same group, right? Word one, word two, word three. We can draw a line like this. So yeah, so the idea is very simple. I think we uh, check all uh, connected, connected what, connected uh, words, right? And then try to count uh, how many isolated sub graph right 
check how many connective words. Wow, so how could we uh, express how to how to express a graph? Wow, we could just uh, use a map, right? Which means this is a word and this is a word list. Word and uh, word list. So for it means for this if so for word one, it may connect it to word two. If there's another word like word four, it will be the same uh, here, uh, same same uh, array. Well, there might be we rather than we use array, we could use set. For example, we might have uh, we might have like uh, word one like tars. It is a uh, it is a uh, mm, it connects to rats, right? It might be another one. If there's another one, it's not here. But suppose we could do T R A S, right? Something like this. And then we need to go to the next one is rats, and we do the same. For rats, it connects to tars, right? Yeah, it's two way. So okay, so we can use this kind of map from word to word of a set set of word. Okay, we can do this. And now, how to how to count isolated subgraph? Wow, well, it's very simple. I think we did before. It's just a uh, a pick a node. And uh, use DFS or BFS just uh, traverse through a traverse uh, the whole tree, right? No matter how the uh, no, how tree not graph. No matter how the graph is, we could just uh, go just uh, just uh, traverse through 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 the whole of it, whole of it. But we need to prevent circles, right? We, we if we traverse a, a node we don't when we go back to it we should stop there we don't continue that if not it will generate an infinite loop so we need to mark traversed traverse the nodes to prevent uh, cir uh, circles and then so if we pick a node and we can pick the whole tree then that we can just uh, count it up right right and then uh, continue above process for all nodes. And it will count all the isolated trees, right? Cool. So now let's come to the basic problem. Um, how to determine, ter uh, how to check if if two are similar, well, like say with tars and rats, we can just follow the definition. We split split this into array and find the po all possible find the all possible swapping, like uh, TA and AR and ARS, and to see if the uh, the the string we generated are equal to one uh, the other string, right? So naively, it will actually. So how many we will uh, split to get split it so it's linear. And then, how many pairs are there? Well, we just pick two and swap. So it's n square. Uh, and plus that we will join this array up and generate a new string, right? So it's this. So it's linear time to check. To check uh, two strings, right? But this is very slow, right? Let's analyze see if uh, analyze this example to see if we can improve it. Like Tars, Russ said that uh, uh, we can swap two letters if we can, because all the strings are anagrams, right? If we swap two swap two letters, then if we compare this to the others, 
except these two positions, the other positions are actually uh, the same for both strings, right? So we can actually count the diff. If there is only, if there is one place, if there is one place that the letters are different, because we're anagrams, there must be another place that are different, at least, right? So if there is one, there must be another one, and uh, and we can just uh, can continue checking it, right? Or uh, check by counting different, oh, not different, but unmatching uh, indexes. Like say the first letter mm, doesn't match. Okay, this is one, and then another one. It matches. We skip and next one. It doesn't match, so it's two, right? And the next one, uh, match. So the position is two. If two positions are different, because an anagram, they must be, uh, they must be able to transform to another by swapping those two letters. If there are more than three different positions, then we can just abort, right? It must be, it must not be, couldn't be similar. So, whilst this is the best, uh, all all the ideas, let's first uh, create the map, right? Okay, I'll create. This is the uh, similar words map. For every word, we will check. The, for every word, we will, we will, because the every word is a node in a graph. I will create the initialize the map. Okay, so this will be a map. So this is a word. It will create it to a word and a new set. Okay, so this is a similar word map. And now we need to fill up the map, right? Fill up the map. But how? Uh, well, we just compare the two the letters. Uh, compare the word, right? So it's two ways, so we could just choose a J uh, bigger than I. Uh, we can write two, so this is more than minus one. I'll put a similar if similar, similar, similar is is oh uh, yeah it's right. So a i, a j. If it is similar. I'll update the map, right? It's two way. So, similar word map. We get AI. We should add AJ, right? And we should do the same reversely. And J, I. So this is done. And now we need to we need to create the method like of. Um, is similar. Well, you know, real interview. I think you can keep this at the last. Uh, for here, let's do it. So, word one, two. And this is count different position count equals zero. Because the anagram they have the same name. Plus this with one. If it's bigger than two, then we just return false, right? When this is done, we check the position. If it's two, then it's similar. If not, it's it's uh it's not similar. Okay, now we uh we traverse through the graph and the count isolated. Isolated. 
obsolete, obsolete or isolated. Hmm. A tree, a, a sub subgraph. Well, as we said, we need to move to, we need to uh, uh, travel, loop through all the nodes. Okay. Well, because we need to mark whether the, the, the node is traversed, the word is already traversed or not, uh, we need to ma mark it, right? So I think we could use uh, 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 the rest. If we, if we connect the node, if we connect the node, mm, maybe use the traversed, okay. Tra tra traversed. New set. Hmm. Maybe I think. Uh, okay. 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 We use new set. If we pick, if we traverse a note word, we put it in this traverse set. Cool. Now, we will loop through all the nodes, which is just to loop through the uh, word. Word. Of a okay if this word is already traversed of course we uh we, we we just continue right if this word is not okay we forgot set update the count set the count to zero if it is not traversed then means this is a new if okay then this is a new subgraph. You update the count to z up the count with uh, one, and uh, mark all the connected nodes. Right? How we do this? Well, we could just use to DFS with DFS. We use a stack. Stack. We will get set the word word in it, right? And so while stack is not empty, we get top pop the pop the stack. Uh, top pop. We pop it. And uh, the stack will only keep the untraversed node, right? So, what do we do? We set untraversed at top, and then check its connected words, which is on the here. Some of the word map. This is top. Right, and uh, we push it if it is not traversed. If that's next stack push next. Cool. We pop it up, set it traversed like that, like, like the case here. Tars and rat. Uh, we, we got tars. Uh, we put it in the stack. We pop it, and uh, the next one is rats. We pu push it, and then pop pop the rats out. The rats actually, uh, as we said, it has a similar word map, uh, ha which has art in it. So art pushed it, and popped, and marked right. So this will be got, be done in one uh, check of word of tars. And then they go to rat, but rats is already traversed. We skip, and we got star. So yeah, finally, we turn count. Let's run the code. <laughs> hmm. Uh oh. I am sorry. We should use get set. Cool. Let's submit. Yeah, we accept it. So. Actually, it's marked as uh, hard, but it's actually not that hard, right? 
Let's try to analyze the time and space comp complexity. A similar? Ooh. Well, it's uh, for a word length of, like, say, let's say the word M words and uh, at length N. So these actually will be cost N, right? Compare a word. And now this is time, a space, constant. For here, time is uh, for each word, right? So it's uh, OM for time, space. This similar map will actually actually uh, s uh, store all the edges, which means the sim similarity between these two between these two. So it will worse space will be square uh, m square, right? Okay. So now we fit up the map. We will compare all the pairs and update it. So yeah, it's time is m square and uh, okay, and uh, the similar Smith similar here is a, is a linear n so n. Okay, space nothing. The traverse we use a set. This set will have a m. Okay, m words because. Okay, then we will have a linear time. Uh, uh, each word, we check, we check, and we will go through all the. We use the extra stack here, which will be worse om, and uh, this is stack, worst om, but actually will travel through the nodes, right? The nodes nodes will actually be worst case. Oh uh, no, not worst case, but. This word actually will be totally in each node will be traversed for only once maximum. So uh length linear length to M and with a stack space uh worst case is M. So that's the total 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 time space complexity. This could be uh, omitted omitted and this is the time. So in all the time should be This a space space where is space space is m square. Yeah, I think that's my understanding of this problem. Hope it helps. Uh, see you next time. Bye bye.